thousands of students around the globe participate each year in telecomputing projects, and both the students and teachers benefit. Let's go to a classroom in Oceanside, California, where telecomputing has become an important part of the curriculum. I've been telecomputing for several years, and my personal experiences, as well as the research I have read, indicate that there are many educational benefits for students. Students learn an important information aid skill. Students write more. They enjoy writing for distant audiences. They develop problem-solving skills. They are brought together in global learning environments. They participate in current and relevant activities. They understand cultural similarities and differences. I have worked with hundreds of teachers on telecomputing projects, and the feedback is always positive. Telecomputing offers many benefits to teachers. It reduces the isolation of the classroom. There are resources. It assists teachers in meeting the guidelines, state framework. Telecomputing is like taking a field trip without having to physically be there. You can leave home with telecomputing. One of many successful projects that grows in popularity every year is the Santa Connection. My students have been participating in the Santa Connection for the past three years. They write letters to Santa and we transmit them to the junior high across town. The prompt that I download from the network does an excellent job of outlining the lesson and incorporating the stages of the writing process. The writing process starts with pre-writing clustering activities in small groups as the children begin the first draft of the letter to Santa. The students begin writing their first draft. Dear Santa, I would like a doll for two for Christmas. Small groups of students read their stories or letters aloud, and peers critique their work and assist each other in grammar, spelling, and punctuation. Dear Santa, how are you? I'm fine. My name is Eddie Sinero. My name is Tawana Scott, and I like writing to you. Mm. What should you write about? Mm. Ask them any questions. Ask them how, how cold it is in the North Pole. All right. The students then revise their letters and word process them in the computer lab. Dear Santa, I would like a car or two. And I would like a bunny and a bunny cage for Christmas. Since I don't yet have a dedicated phone line at school, I merge all the single Santa letters into one file and upload them from home. The junior high school students go through the same process at their school site and the Santa replies come back to us. I'm here in San Diego today interviewing some of the students here at Poway High School. They've just completed a telecommunications project where they pretended to be Santa Claus using the electronic bulletin board to write back to students who had written to Santa Claus. First, I'm going to talk to Brian. Normally, when you write, you write for your teacher. Did it make a difference in this case that you were writing for another student? I personally saw it as a challenge. I thought it'd be fun because we were going to get replies and I wanted to find out how, how, what the kids thought about it because the teacher we were, who was in charge of the class was going to write back and tell us how we did, what the kids thought, and the response was, was kind, of, kind of warming feeling because mm -hmm. she said like, kids were like, oh, like, oh, wow, you wrote a letter strictly to me. It's like, it, wasn't, it wasn't like a news like, okay, well, let's punch it in the computer and I'll do a whole lot of Xerox and just send them out. It was, right. Each one was individualized. So all the kids had a separate letter that they could go home and say, hey, Mom, look, I got a letter from Santa Claus. And I thought it was, it wasn't the grade I wasn't really worried about. It was just, it was, it was fun. Did you feel this project helped your overall writing ability? It was, it helped out a lot because I slowly but surely got better. I, I'm basically real bad at spelling, and I'm, during this project, I got I was able to learn. I learned letters I would I couldn't I wouldn't even have I wouldn't even attempt to learn or try. 
I got better at it. I got better with my writing skills, and I got better with my spelling all in all.